everyone welcome to my channel my name is melissa here i'll be focused on all things makeup and beauty i'm going to be filming my first get ready with me the rest will be a voiceover until i ca i acclimate myself to talking more on camera i'm just going to be using some products i haven't used in a while thanks for watching subscribe if you enjoy what you see when i'm doing my makeup nine times out of ten i start with my eye makeup I'm taking the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I'll be using that as my eyeshadow primer. Today I'm playing around with my Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I've only used it a handful of times, so I wanted to use it a bit more. Taking a MAC 117 brush, I'm taking the shade Evergreen. I'm applying that to the outer corner of my eye, but I'll be blending it inward and also a bit under the eyebrow but not all the way up to the eyebrow with a smaller blending brush i'm taking the shade sage and running that along the outside of that first shade evergreen i laid down i'm taking a large fluffy clean blending brush and just running that along the perimeter to make everything look blended and seamless here i'm taking some micellar water on a q-tip and just cleaning up the inner half of my eye. This way I'm gonna lay down a lighter sheet in that area and it'll pop a bit more. With a large natural hair shading brush, I'm packing on the shade Fringe. In that area I clean up with the micellar water. Taking that same brush, I'm going in with the shade Palladian, I believe it's pronounced. It's a light minty shimmery shade. To add some depth to the look, I'm taking the shade Jazzy on the outer corner of the lid. Since my skin's been a bit drier, I'm going to be priming first with the MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Pink Light. It's a nice moisturizing product, adds a bit of luminosity. The foundation I'm going in with today is the Lisa Aldridge Seamless Skin Foundation in the shade 6. A lot of times I like to apply foundation initially with my hands. This way it warms up the product. Um, and then I'll go over it with a brush just to make sure everything is blended out. Seamless and no like finger marks. For my bronzer today, I'll be going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream in the shade 01. I'm just taking a fluffy, I believe this is a like a powder brush, but... You can use your brushes for whatever you want. I really enjoy this bronzer because the formula is like long lasting, blends beautifully on the skin, and the tone is like not too warm, not too cool, just right. For concealer, I'm going in with the Hydrating Camo Concealer by e.l.f. in the shade Fair Warm. I really enjoy this concealer. It blends out beautifully. You get a ton of product, good coverage doesn't look cakey or crazy during the day. Highly recommend. I use a brush to blend out the concealer. This way I can get maximum coverage. Um, I like applying my concealer to areas that I may have acne, discoloration, um, redness, like above my eyebrows, I have a lot of redness and right under where i applied that cream bronzer so that's why i don't apply the bronzer too precisely because you can always clean it up with concealer going in with a cream blush this is the man eater blush and glow from tarte in the shade buff it's a really sheer pretty formula very glowy blends out nicely um, for this look, because my eyes and lips are a bit brighter, I wanted to go a bit more simplistic with the face makeup. To set my concealer and foundation, I'm going to take Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light, running it along the under eye, um, my jawline to add some brightness in. For lipstick, I'm going in with the shade Ruby Firelight, and the Gucci Matte Lipstick Formula. I wanted something bright. We're in spring. Fun. 
With a stiff pencil brush, I'm taking the shade Fluffer and applying that on the inner corner. And I finish off my face makeup with a setting spray. This one is from Wet n Wild in the natural finish. Going back to my eyes, I'm applying some liquid liner. This is from NYX, the Vivid Matte in Black. And to finish off the look, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply some waterproof mascara, and my lashes. These are from Salon Perfect. And here you have the completed look. I initially wanted to go for something neutral, natural, but here we are, green eyelids, orange lip. Um, it's almost Easter where I'm from. Spring and summer are my favorite seasons, and I just enjoy wearing color. Makes me feel good. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video. Um, I hope as time goes on, we get to know each other better. Um, I hope to be able to vocalize better. The techniques I'm using, the products I'm using, um, I'll primarily be focused on makeup on this channel. So if there's anything in makeup, beauty, hair, let me know. And I'm open to making a video about that. Um, I'll have every product I use today listed below. They will be affiliate links. So if you shop through them, I will get a kickback. So if you're not comfortable with that, no pressure. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Subscribe if you want to stick around and see where this journey takes me. Have a good day.